Welcome back to American Agenda. Radio host Howard Stern at it again, this time siding with Neil Young in his fight against Joe Rogan and Spotify. But that's not all. Stern saying it's time for Meatloaf's family to advocate for the COVID-19 vaccine. The outspoken rocker wanted no part of getting vaccinated before he died. Take a listen to what Stern said about censorship, Neil Young, Meatloaf, all of this on Sirius XM. I don't think he's for censorship. I don't think Neil Young is for censorship. I just think he's saying, look, I don't want to be part of this organization. Because if my music is helping people bring people to the table, and then they're spreading something as lethal as don't take the vaccine, do this. Mm, that makes you know, sense. He, yeah. I, you know, I'm against any kind of censorship, really. You know, I really am. I don't like censorship. But when you're talking about life and death, like poor Meatloaf got sucked into some weird f cult. Hmm. Let's bring in our panel to uh, discuss. Chrissy Clark, Stacey Washington. Uh, Stacey, is he really not for censorship, like Howard Stern is saying there? I mean, it sounds like he's for censorship to me. Yeah, it kind of uh, does. And you know what, Heather? I th I, what I find so interesting about him is, first of all, he is, I think, the highest paid personality on SiriusXM. $500 yeah. million dollar contract. He promptly took the summer off after signing that deal. Um, I, I don't understand that, but I'm not in charge. I just work I there. I don't either, Stacey. I never have. <laughs> I mean, we, we all got to get together as people who have contracts with these media companies and figure out how he worked that one out. But yeah, so here's the other issue I have. You know what you don't want to hear when you just lost your loved one? Someone that you love and care about and you're grieving? Uh, some rich, famous guy telling you what you need to advocate for. These people are in mourning. And Meatloaf yeah. was 74 years old. So it's not like he was 18 or 19 and he was advocating against, you know, the vaccine. And also, I really resent the implication that if someone dies and they were anti-vax, that the reason they died is because they were anti-vax. COVID-19 mm -hmm. attacks elderly people and it really preys on those who have comorbidities. That's the truth. So let's yeah. stop making political. It's, it's just, he's wrong. Howard Stern is wrong a lot, though. Yeah, and his well, widow has not released the cause of death that I understand. I don't understand. think so. No. We do, all we know yeah. for sure, at least as far as the, the latest I've been able to read, right. is that he uh, was, I think he was, and I don't think mm -hmm. he was vaccinated mm -hmm. and that he died of COVID. I, I don't know. I don't think there's been released that he died of COVID. Okay. Yeah. And that, so yeah. there's some presumptions going on, Chrissy. Right. But to Howard Stern for a moment, because by the way, I'm not anti somebody who's older and overweight getting the vaccine. So I don't have a problem if he gets it. What I do have a problem with with Howard Stern is that he's telling other people how to think for somebody that's saying he's against censorship right. and for some, somebody making those kinds of, of judgments seems like he would be more open-minded, including respecting someone that says, I don't think like you. Right. So and I, that was exactly the point I was going to make, was that I'd be hard pressed to think that Howard Stern would be blaming Lizzo for being chunky uh, if she passed away from COVID-19 for having an obvious comorbidity to COVID. And I just, I don't think this is clearly a political issue. They turned it political. And like Stacey said perfectly, now is not the time to be making these suggestions that Meatloaf's family be advocating for the COVID-19 vaccine. And actually, if you read into uh, Meatloaf in general, he, you know, I didn't really grow up in the era of Meatloaf. I had no clue that there was a singer named Meatloaf until he passed away. <laughs> My understanding of his position was that he's against mandates, and he said he would rather die than be dictated by the government. Right. And to that, that's not anti-vaccine necessarily. That's being anti-mandate. And the government, liberals and leftists alike, have all decided to conflate that word to mean anti-vaccine and anti-mandate are the exact same thing. They yeah. are not. You can be so pro-vaccine and anti-mandate. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really well put. And just to correct myself, I guess the family now has come out and said he that said he did die he of did COVID, die COVID. But originally, when his uh, widow came out, she did not say that he died of COVID. Yeah, it wasn't clear at first. Yeah. But uh, uh, we've got like 20 seconds. Stacey, final thought? i just like to remind everyone that the CDC director, Rochelle Walensky, has now admitted that 75% of the people who died from COVID-19 over the past two years had four or more comorbidities. Yeah. Yeah. And he had asthma and obviously other health conditions. Right. Lifted. Right. And, and again, I, I just don't like seeing Howard Stern telling other people how to think 
um, as if he's and, in and charge. And forcing <laughs> families to, you know, reveal like, yeah, how like people saying, have it, died. If they didn't want to release that, they shouldn't have had to release that. Right. Yeah. Chrissy Clark, Stacey Washington, thank you so much.